Hey there everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing Union Creative's Synthetic Human, distributed through their 1000 Toys um, division. The Synthetic Human comes from Tsutomo Nihei's Blame uh, manga franchise, and it represents one of the various factions in that manga. I received this, um, I bought this through the uh, Ami Ami company straight from Japan. So you can see it came, it was wrapped in tissue paper to help protect the box. Take them off. And the box itself has pictures of the synthetic human. It looks like um, Sanaka from the series has a picture of her both in more robotic form as well as uh, artificial human form. It also has marking for Toho Heavy Industries, Synthetic Human. So that's pretty cool, and there's the Toha symbol. Comes in a nice black package here, as we can see. Nice cover, and then inside the figure itself is pretty um, sparsely represented. More information. So you can see from the box, the original design comes from Tsutomo Nihei himself. Um, you know, from his character design, and then it was sculpted by you what know, looks here at Yuki Nakamura uh, through a direction from Yura Tohari, and um, it was printed and manufactured by Yoji Hayakawa. The box itself has a tamper evident sticker on the top and the bottom. I'm going to open it up from the bottom here. This is age 15 and up. That probably has to do with it being an allegedly naked synthetic human. So you pull out, you have the box. There are some instructions. And oh, it comes with a base and also with some, uh, looks like magnets on it. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. The clamshell opens up here. And what we have are clamshell opens like that. And what we have is um, a series of hands, which have all popped out of their little cases here. We have the figure itself, which contains the semi-human face. It comes with a synthetic human face, more of the green, kind of the underlying artificial skin. It comes with a hair piece that can fit on top. This will be seen here. Here, piece will fit on her. Or I guess that's backwards. There we go. So I'll we'll have to figure out which way that goes. Ah, there we go. And it comes with two alternate busts. They have a sort of medium size and then a sort of large size. The Blame series, the characters are a little more realistic toward of what um, actual humans would look like. Here we have a hand, and it looks like it comes with a spike that can be used um, for killing electro fishers or planters, or trying to kill Killy. The synthetic humans are one of the many factions, and they're both protagonist and antagonist within the manga series and in the, uh, the movie that was made from that as well. Here we have some instructions, some information on how to change out the various parts and what belong. We've got face parts. Ah, oh, it looks like I was putting the hair part on wrong. I looks like I have to remove part of the face in order to put the hair on first. That's not entirely clear. Action figure support for a uh, grip. Okay, so it's an action figure support clip. That's what this is for. Let's open that up and see what that does here. That clips in and you can hold her to stand up on her own. Right there like that. Let's give it a shot. Let's see about replacing some of these parts. Let's see, let's take off the head part. Up oh, there we go. There's that. 
guess I can take, oh, take this part off. Looks like a little top of the head. And this goes in, I see, goes in like that. Put on the face part here. And then the head goes in. Looks like we put that on and then the head can clip in. What that was, let's see where it is. Here we go. There. And now the hair part fits on very well. She seems pretty articulate. That's very nice. We got Cesar. Sit. Holds a lot wide range of poses. Let's see, one of my favorite poses is the And we have a sleeping synthetic human. There we go. She's pretty posable. Maybe she can do a little bit of yoga. And yeah, she's got three parts of articulation near her spine, as we can see, on the back, a middle, and a top part. She is very poseable. I'm very pleased with that. It has a support clip system, but for just freestanding, it does not look like that's necessary. I guess you would use that if you wanted her to be standing on one foot, something like this, or perhaps I'm trying to a safeguard or something like that or go into combat against killing. Not quite the best kick but there we go there's a support system a little bit off balance but there we have it. So the chest piece gets put in through a peg it's a little bit loose it doesn't seem to hold on extremely tight. Um, that's a little bit of a minus. It doesn't fall off through regular use, but it is a little bit loose when it's put on. Uh -huh. The joint parts, especially the hand, is this sort of ball joint, but also it has a kind of twist joint on it as well. Not too bad. It's kind of a clever system put it in. It feels a little tight putting it, the hands on and taking them off. Feels like it might pull the joint out of the wrist, but after it's on, it's loose, but it does seem to hold on fairly well. Oop, that's a gun holding hand. Yeah, that one doesn't really hold the, the stabbing knife, but it does have a gun holding hand, although the fingers aren't open, so it has limited ability to use various guns from other manufacturers or other tools. There we go. See the feet. It has bendable toes. The heel doesn't bend so much as it moves around. It has a sort of synthetic skeleton look to it. The knee joint, as you can see, is, has a ball joint doll type of knee, which is pretty neat. It's good for additional um, articulation. It's very articulate that way. The elbow has just a regular ball joint. I think it's fairly clever how they put the elbow joint back here to keep it from becoming double jointed and to hide the uh, back end of that. The neck is, the neck has a joint here, back and forth swivel, and the head also moves up and down. It's sort of a swivel joint, so it's got two joints on the neck. It's a wider range of motion. bar. I thought it was a knife. It's more kind of like a bar and yes we can use that as kind of like a stabby knife thing. All right. So there you have it. The 
Synthetic Human from Union Creative. In general, I think it's a very good action figure. I think they did a very good job making it pretty realistic. There's some good details on her and very poseable. I'm very pleased with this. So, thank you for watching and have a great day.